Welcome to Therapy Explained, where we explain, demystify, and destigmatize mental health and mental health treatment. My name is Denise Pliner. I'm a licensed therapist and clinical director of a mental health group practice in California that treats individuals and couples. But here on YouTube, I'm your host and I help facilitate some of these conversations. Today we have, as you probably guessed, a book recommendation. Uh, I really enjoy reading and I think it is a very accessible way for us to get information about our lives and history and many different things, but in particular, it can also help us get a better understanding of our own mental health and patterns. Now it is of course not a substitute for mental health treatment, but I'm a big fan of recommending books to my own clients to help them get even more information and a better understanding of some of the topics that we cover within therapy. Now, if you feel like you're stuck on a cycle of dating the same types of people and being in the same types of relationships that just don't work, or if you find that you kind of self-sabotage in some relationships as well, then I've got a book for you. It's called Attached and it covers attachment theory. And I really enjoy this book because it weaves in stories, it has a quiz, it's great. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but before I share why I love this book so much, I want to give you a little bit of background information. Attachment theory is based on the idea that the quality of relationships that you had with your parents is going to serve as a template for your relationships moving forward. There are two main types of attachment styles. There's a secure attachment and an insecure attachment. And then within the umbrella of an insecure attachment, there are three different types. So there is an insecure anxious, there is an insecure avoidant, and then there's an insecure ambivalent, also known as insecure disorganized. We've gone over the different types of attachment styles and what they look like in relationships. So go ahead and check out those videos if you haven't already. But this book does have an introduction and a general overview of what those are and what those look like. And so the idea is that if you had most likely an insecure attachment with your parents, whatever of the three it might be, then that is the way in which you will attach or form relationships with other people. And as the name suggests, there is an insecurity within those attachments. You have a hard time feeling safe in the relationships and you might have some fear of abandonment or rejection in some way. Getting an understanding of what your attachment style is can transform the way that you see relationships and your roles within it. Once you have that self-awareness of the way that you replay patterns in relationships, then that gives you the power to then be able to change those patterns. So I think attachment theory is a really good tool to see and understand your own patterns. It's not the only way, but it's one of my favorite tools to use. And if you are interested in learning more about them, then I highly recommend the book. So let's talk about the book. It can help you understand why you might be in the same relationship, so why you might be choosing the same people. And the reason that I like this book in particular is because it's easy to read, it gives you a really quick overview, and even at the very beginning, it has a quiz for you to figure out what your attachment style is to begin with. So once you know what your attachment style is, as you read the book, it gives you different examples of what it might look like in different relationships with different attachment styles. So if you have an anxious attachment style, what does it look like if you end up with a partner who has an avoidant kind of attachment style? And that kind of pairing is actually one of the most popular pairings of insecure attachment styles. And they give you stories as well of people who have been in relationships and who navigate some of these challenges. And it also helps you gain some hope in these relationships because it's not like once we figure out what your original attachment style is, that now you're hopeless and this is how it's going to be forever. They explain how a secure attachment works and how you can slowly try to get closer and closer to a secure attachment style so that you can also change some of those patterns and give yourself the opportunity to develop close, intimate, safe relationships. 
If you're interested in getting the book, it is available as an audiobook, an actual hardcover, softcover book, and of course also as an ebook on Amazon. It's on Playbooks through Google, and you can also get it online. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in purchasing that book. Again, this is one of my favorite books to recommend to clients who are working on developing healthier romantic relationships. It builds so much self insight and self awareness as to what your patterns are and like an understanding of why you are kind of being attracted to the same people and setting up the same systems or very similar systems that ultimately just don't work for you. And of course, this is just the first step. Getting insight and self-awareness is just the first step. After that, there's so much about consistency and committing to change, and even that can be a whole journey all on its own. So I do hope that this book is a good support and tool for you within that journey. And so be patient with yourself if you are finding yourself in this journey, trying to figure out how to develop healthy relationships for yourself. Yourself. It takes time and I hope that again this book can be another tool for you and a very helpful tool for you. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make any comments of the book if you've already read it, if you're interested in reading it, or if you have any other questions about the book, leave them down for me below and I will see you in the next one.